Now, Heartland Sports with Jess Todd. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Well, the countdown to next basketball season is already on, which is crazy to think about. Summer practices for NCAA teams officially underway. The SEMO women's team now in week two. Split sessions with some smaller groups to help everyone get on the same page, get to know each other a little bit. A lot of new faces for the Red Hawks for 2023-24. Six players gone to the transfer portal from last year and another to graduation. And that doesn't even include almost entirely new coaching staff for Rika Patterson as well. Got to talk with her a little bit earlier today during those split sessions. Coach said these practices bring in an excitement, kind of like the first day of school with a new group of people, and also that this summer is all about chemistry. Over the summer, it's really about creating some healthy habits, and that's been a point of emphasis for us. This, this summer, we've done a boot camp where we really want to truly teach our players how to have healthy habits that will put them in a position to have success on the court, which will allow us to hopefully achieve our team goals, whether that's extra work, nutrition, hydration, stretching, all those things play a role in, you know, how you're able to achieve your individual and team goals. More coming up at 10 on the progress so far. The team coming together with some new personalities and sneak preview. Some dancing is going to be in there too. How about Cape Central's standout on the hardwood? Cameron Williams is officially signed with Moberly Area Community College men's basketball. Williams scored over 1,500 points in his career with the Tigers. Also a two-time All-State, three-time All-District, and the Class 5 District 1 Player of the Year this past season among a number of other awards and a bunch of people there to cheer him on as he put the pen to the paper. We're going to hear from Cam coming up at 10 about why he chose Mobley. The Cape Catfish back on home turf tonight at Kapaha after just their second loss of the season yesterday. Catfish fell 6-5 at Quincy. Thrillbillies in town tonight on a three game win streak and they came out swinging. Cole Smith sends one that gets through the gap all the way to the wall. Here comes Jackson and Lindsay all the way from first. Smith slides in with a triple and their offense wasn't done just yet. How about Michael Mylot? Sack fly goes out. Cole Smith into score. The Thrillbillies had a 3 0 lead at one point in this game, but then the Catfish offense really started getting going. It seems like they're inevitable every game they play this year. Good look at a base hit from Justin Currency back up the middle right there. Brody Chrisman getting in on the action. His base hit brings Jeff Clark around to score, and that's right. Ring it up. You can hear the little sound effect in the background. Landon Godsey smokes one down the line. He gets too easy, and Justin Currency he comes in to score on that one. Jeff Clark, he comes to the plate next. They got one out into the outfield, back up the middle again. Chris Hall coming around to score. Catfish offense exploded after they that early deficit. They ended up pulling out the win 9-5. to five. They're now 4-0 and oh this year against the Thrillbillies. They have their number in Thrillville's inaugural season.